Hi, I'm Brett, and today we've got a video update on the Subaru Liberty GT 2 litre model, and we're doing the MRT Power Kit XC power upgrade with a whole heap of parts to give you some really good performance upgrades so you can understand how to get the power out of this car. Now, the thing that it's really important to understand is this kit replaces the turbo, converts the engine from twin scroll to single scroll, has greater capacity with a new modern day STI roller bearing turbo and so on. But what I wanted to explain to you is what is the difference between this particular model and what we have here in Australia now. So the Liberty was sold in Australia as a two litre model soon after the twin turbo Subaru Liberty ended its life around 0102. So in that year they then went to the two litre twin scroll turbo and then for two or three years up until 05, this car was a very popular car. It was only two litre, it had a twin scroll entry turbo for really good bottom end performance, but it's not the type of engine you can expect to get really good middle, mid range or top end power out of it because of the design of the turbo is for bottom end performance and it's a real cruisy freeway type car. So if you want to get more power, if you put an exhaust system on this car, you've got a dramatic risk of failing the turbo by over speeding, speeding the exhaust wheel, which ultimately fails on the shaft and I've seen situations where the, where the exhaust wheel has gone down and the exhaust system on the car and it's a very expensive turbo to replace. So after this particular model, they went to the 2.5 litre um, engine, single scroll turbo, electronic throttle control and so on. So what you've got around me at the base of my feet, I've tried to gather the parts together, is the different components that are going to go onto this car. And what we'll do is I'll show you up underneath here where the components go, and then we'll focus on the individual parts of what you can expect if you're going to do a similar upgrade. So I'll get my cameraman to carefully have a look here. Up underneath here is where the exhaust manifold fits on the left and the right hand uh, heads. This is the sump, your uh, oil filter, the exhaust manifold collects it into two pipes and goes up into the underside of the turbo, up inside there. And then on the back side here, the exhaust outlet comes out through a catalytic converter around the side of the gearbox and then it goes out through the back of the car. So hold that thought on what we're talking about as far as parts. And you can see here, this is the exhaust manifold with the two outlets. But you notice how it's got two pipes here because those pipes there connect to the up pipe which is then maintaining two pipes here which lead into the underside of the turbo of the original factory design and that's why it's a twin scroll turbo because it's got twin entry into the exhaust side of the turbo and then it's got a normal common outlet very very similar to a lot of other Subaru design turbos but this particular turbo is the one that you can see how small it is it's very small in the compressor housing it's not designed for big boost. If you try to promote and push these turbos too hard, they fail and you're talking about three or $4,000 turbo repair. So from there back, it's a pretty common design exhaust system. So what do we do that's different? Well, we replace this part here with a converter pipe and it goes from twin scroll up into a single entry. And then we fit a newest technology IHI STI turbo with a single entry common outlet, but this turbo is capable of pu punching out a lot more boost than this one. We then go into the MRT split collector dump pipe, high flow catalytic converter, flexible joint, you know, the connector joint here, and out through the back into the twin mufflers, like this, bolts up to the outlet on either side of the back of the car. So. What you're probably wondering is why go to so much effort to improve all of these parts? Well, the other thing, of course, that includes a new upgraded Process West intercooler to combine the extra load that this engine will generate with the modified turbo. And this will fit in the original factory place. And also then also includes a new under tray for the underside of the bonnet. So what else would you come to expect from this? The turbo that we're going to fit will take this car from about uh, at a probably over factory standard anywhere between 50 to 60 kilowatts. It's just physically not possible to achieve that with this twin scroll turbo. There's not a lot of choices for bigger capacity twin scroll turbos. It's a lot more convenient and cost effective to replace it with a new technology IHI turbo. 
which still has really good bottom end response, but we can lean on a lot harder when we do an MRT tune using the factory ECU and do um, adjustments um, to maintain the reliability, but also the performance. The really good thing about this engine, being a two liter engine, they're a really tough engine. They've got really good pistons and rods and you can lean on them a lot harder. You can push them a lot more boost than what you can get out of the original factory twin scroll turbo, hence the upgrade of anywhere between 40 and 60 kilowatts extra at the wheels. So there you have it. If you're looking for a really good upgrade, you've got the older model two litre twin scroll Subaru Liberty GT or Legacy GT, no matter where you are in the world, a lot of these parts are interchangeable. It gives you a pretty good idea of what you can come to expect. And I'll show you some still photos at the bottom as this video link shortly. And of course, when the car comes off the dyno, we'll post some dyno graphs as well. But there is a really good download document that I'll also link to the bottom of this video where you can download the actual 20 page power kit document that you can get off our website as well. So for today, I'm Brett Middleton. No matter where you are in the world, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I really hope this video has helped you. Bye for now.